Hello friends, welcome to another Facebook Friday. I'm like clapping my hands for Lychee Friday. How is everybody doing today? Last day of April, can you guys believe it? Like, man, where did the month go? We started out, it was so nice earlier this month. Um, and then we have had some kind of cold weather, but actually sun is shining today. You guys know I always have to give like the weather report. It's kind of ridiculous, but I love, well, let's see, I love the sun shining and I love Friday. So this is like a great combination. Hello, Philomena, welcome. Thanks for joining us today. So we have so much good stuff. This is like, this is crazy time, right? With um, end of one annual catalog, beginning of the next annual catalog. We've got lots and lots of good stuff to share with you guys today. And thank you, speaking of sharing, Philomena, thank you already for the first share of today's Facebook Live. I so appreciate your shares of this Facebook Live video. So thank you, thank you for that. Um, so yeah, let's see, we are gonna be playing with, this is the, <clears throat> let me make sure, yeah, the Well Suited Designer Series paper. And I realized I don't even think I have like all sheets of the paper, but um, this is one of my favorites too. It's a, like kind of a really pretty floral, maybe, you know, it kind of looks like my, maybe a, like a, a man's shirt. Um, and then the paisley too, I think is kind of fun. And then we've got some plaids and just some other, and this one is great too. Um, that looks like a tie, I think. Nikki, hello, welcome. Thanks for hanging out. And hello, Lori. Yay, everybody's popping on. Okay. So so that's one side of the well-suited designer series paper. Like I said, I don't even think I have all of them, but I'll show you. This is what I do have. Um, if it's not here, it means I've used it probably on a project. I don't know, actually, maybe this is all of them. Well, we'll see. So here's the back side, because I know I don't have full sheets of them. Um, but here's the back side of these. Hello, Susie. There we go. Some some more kind of good, like masculine themed paper, right? We always play with like the pretty, beautiful stuff, right? Because there's so much of it and it's so pretty and beautiful. Sandra, hello. Welcome, my friend XOXO. Thank you for the hugs and kisses. Yeah, so good to have you on here. Um, so yeah, we always need masculine cards, right? They're generally kind of not quite as frilly and fun and beautiful. And I try to put bling on them, even though I really shouldn't, because um, I don't know many men that like sparkles. But um, anyway, you'll see, we've got some fun projects today with that well-suited designer series paper. So we're gonna have lots of fun with that. And like I mentioned, we have just a few days left for this retiring list. So, I mean, like seriously, like look at all of this stuff. It's so tiny, like this teeny tiny print, one, two, three, it's basically like a full four pages and about the tiniest print possible that you will ever see. But what you need to do is hop onto the Stampin' Up! website and there's a banner, you know, a bunch of different banners flash across there. One of the banners is like the last chance list, they're calling it, yes, last chance products list. We have only a few days left. So what today is Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Monday. We have four days left to order out of our current annual catalog. And let me make sure everybody knows what I mean by that when I say our current annual catalog. It's this catalog right here. Hello, Sharon. So this is the 2020-2021 annual catalog. Four days left. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. That is it. At midnight, Salt Lake City um, time, which is Sunday time I think yes um, that's the last minute that you can order online out of this annual catalog I can also put an order in for you I'm happy to help you out um, if there's anything that you want to order and you're not comfortable ordering online just email call I was gonna say fax, but no, <laughs> you can't fax me, text, you can text me. Um, so hello, good morning, Susan. Thanks for joining and thanks for sharing. So yeah, few days left, very few days left. There's a bunch of stuff that has sold out already, but there's still a ton of stuff that's retiring that's available. So go ahead, check it out. This is like your last couple of days to get things out of here. Um, <clears throat> And I always say, don't be that gal. Don't be that gal that waits until Tuesday and was like, oh, I wish I would have ordered blah, 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 because then it's too late, right? So get it in while you can. I'll give you my new host code basically for May. We're the last day of April, but we're starting the May host code. Um, so I'll share that with you guys in just a little bit. I'll also be up on my blog too. So if you want to do your online shopping, use that host code and then you'll get all the fun Facebook Live freebies as well, right? And then starting on Tuesday, which is May 3rd, no, 4th, Tuesday, May 4th, you can start ordering 
out of our new annual catalog. Isn't it beautiful? So just look at the gorgeous kind of cover of this catalog. It's funny because Lily, when she looked at it, she's like, it's kind of a boring cover. And I think because maybe there's not quite as, like it's not as big and bold, but what is on there is some gorgeous, gorgeous products. Um, I don't even have any of this because I don't think that much of this, much or any of it was something that we could pre-order, um, but it's beautiful and I can't wait to get my hands on those products right there on the cover of our annual catalog. So, cause that's all I can show you. I can't even show you the um, inside yet, but here's some more, um, that paper is gorgeous. I know that we could not pre-order that paper because I'm sure I would have if I had been able to. Oh my gosh, yeah, beautiful. So anyway, yes. So starting Tuesday, May 4th, we can order out of our new annual catalog. And again, use my host code so you get all the Facebook Live freebies too. Um, I think that's all I want to tell you guys about. But yeah, yeah. So Monday night at midnight, current annual catalog. Tuesday morning, I don't even know what time, whatever. Um, you know, basically, you could probably stay up super late Monday night and put an order in and it'd be called a Tuesday order and you'd be able to order out of the, this annual catalog. So yeah, good stuff, good times. Um, so much great new product in here. I cannot wait to share all of these fun new things that I have been able to pre-order and have been playing with. And I'm super excited to be able to order anything that I want out of that catalog, just like you all starting on Tuesday, because we were pretty limited as to what we could order, um, you know, in our pre-order as demonstrators. So super excited to just be able to order whatever we want out of the new catalog starting Tuesday, okay? So let me know if anybody has any questions on that. I thought I would show you guys um, some swaps. <laughs> yes, Sharon, <clears throat> excuse me, I have like a little tickle in my throat there. Your list is long and she's got like the big buggy eye. <laughs> I remember the first time that my sister sent me that like the, it's the emoji. I don't know if you guys can see the comments, but with like the huge buggy eyes, I like started, I was like dying laughing because I guess that had been a while ago, um, you know, back before we really used emojis, but that little like buggy eyed like emoji guy, I think is hilarious. So <laughs> I love that. Your list is really long. I know Sharon, mine is too. Of course, of course, so many good new things in there. So with that being said, I wanted to show you, um, I brought just a couple of swaps from our team meeting, our Inspired Stampers meeting that we had. This is like a week or two, a week and a half ago. Um, anyway, I just wanted to share with you some um, these beautiful creations that were made. So this first card, Diana Boone, one of our Inspired Stampers created, and I kind of wanted to show you guys these and then also highlight what's staying and what's retiring, and I've even got some new stuff to share with you too. So this is the Peony. Um, oh yes, you have a list of products that you couldn't exactly through our pre-order. Lots of other things that caught your eye that you're wanting out of the new annual catalog. I know, um, yeah, I, like I said, Tuesday is gonna be a great day. It's gonna be like ridiculously busy for Stampin' Up, I'm sure, because everybody's gonna be getting on and placing their orders. So we'll have to have a little patience, I'm sure, um, with shipping on those orders, because I know it'll just be super busy. Um, you know, like I said, that Tuesday when everybody can start ordering. So anyway, back to, so these these are the peony dies, and these are actually carrying over. So this is a beautiful set of dies. You can see kind of all of that detail that you can create. Um, this ribbon though, the Daffodil Delight Ruched Ribbon, this is one of the ribbons that is retiring. And a lot of the embellishments are on sale right now too. Um, <clears throat> yes, Jenny, the peach theme tweet. I remember you saying that at the meeting the other day. Yeah, that is beautiful. It's like like super like juicy, luscious, like peachy fruit. Um, yeah, I remember a few years ago, we had a, a peach stamp set that I was able to how did we do that? We embossed it. I'm, I'd have to look back and see because it was so pretty because it looked like super like kind of luscious and real almost. Um, yeah, now I've got my wheels turning on that one. So I might have to look back into how I did that and recreate it for you guys with the new peach suite of products. So yeah, but okay, so like I was saying, the, I get so sidetracked so easily, right? But I love your comments too, so thank you. Continue to send those comments. I love to kind of hear what you guys are thinking of things. Um, and if you have any questions too, let me know. So yeah, but the ribbon, this Daffodil Delight Ruched Ribbon, 
retiring. Many of the ribbons and embellishments are on sale. So get them while you can, first of all, and get them because they're on sale too, right? So that dainty diamonds embossing folder, that one is carrying over. I love, especially that sparkly detail there. So thank you, Diana, for that beautiful um, card. And then, so this is one of my favorite, like, when so this is a card that sunday ostrander brought um one of our swap cards and i love this color combination i actually had to use it on um what did i use it on i think i made some swaps um oh for our maui trip yeah and i was like i love so this is um night of navy night of navy card base and then uh granny apple green and i just there's something it's kind of like preppy do you guys remember like valley girl 1980 <laughs> mid what mid late 80s like preppy valley girl that like bright green and the navy blue i think um i just love that color combination so first of all love the color combination second of all and probably even more importantly is that pretty perennial stamp set that she used to create kind of her own designer series paper with um all that beautiful floral imagery right there and then what does this one say happy for you i couldn't read it backwards either uh, but i love so i love that happy that fun big bold happy stamp that's in there and you can send happy mail you can say happy birthday ha lots of happy sentiments in there and then all of those flowers i love this is my this is truly like my favorite stamp set in the catalog and i know i featured it a while ago on our facebook live and i've been playing with it and i can't stop playing with it and i'm super bummed that this color not this this color I see Lori saying but I know you love the color combo too this stamp set will retire not until the end of June so you still have a bunch of time to get that pretty perennial stamp set if you haven't gotten it already um, but yeah and then you can case this card too I know totally bummed it's not in the new catalog I agree Nikki this is one that they definitely should have carried over of course we always feel that way right um, but then there's always lots of cute fun new stuff so anyway get it while you can pretty perennial stamp set you can just see it's so easy to make super cute fun bright bold beautiful cards with all of the floral images in that stamp set so next one this one was Susie who is with us live right now so Susie Meekumber made this card with the dragonfly suite of products so the the stamp set and the dies are or not the punch the stamp set and the punch are carrying over this designer series paper is retiring though that is it the dragonfly? I don't think it is. Why can't I think of the name of it? Anyway, it's six by six designer series paper, part of the dragonfly suite. Um, <clears throat> this is retiring. And then as well, her ribbon, this is the Calypso Coral ribbon. This was a combo pack. It was Calypso Coral and Old Olive, maybe the Ornate Garden ribbon combo pack. I think that's what that's called. So that is retiring. And then as well, if I zoom in, those are little terracotta tile um, sparkly gems those are retiring as well those are some of the in color um gems too so yeah fun card here though right so oh and also the square can you guys see if i get in super close those stitched square dies are retiring bummer about that the squares and the ovals um well actually all of them so all of the stitched because those are the stitched shapes which actually i think those have already sold out so forget about those i was actually thinking of the layering square and the layering oval dies um Oh, you're still on the fence about the dragonfly bundle. Well, if that's the case, Susan, I'd say don't even worry about it and wait until, you know, if you've got a long list of other things, just get that other new stuff. Um, this paper, it probably actually was not some of my most favorite paper in um, the, the mini catalog. Darlene, hello. <laughs> good morning, sunshine. And it is, it's sunshiny outside too. And good morning to you as well. Long time no see for sure. Hopefully you are doing really well. Miss Darlie, so thanks for joining us. Um, but yeah, so you know, if ever there's a suite that just doesn't float your boat, just say foo foo yeah on that and move on to something else because there's so much good stuff um, that there is to love out there, right? So you don't have to like try to convince yourself that you like it if you're not sure if you do, right? Just move on and get something else that you know you do love. So yeah, but this ribbon is beautiful. I love that ribbon. So I'm gonna be sad to see that go. Plus, look at isn't that the cutest little bow ever that she made on that? It's like the perfect little teeny weeny bow. 
It's, it's like absolutely perfect. <laughs> yes. And yeah, the stitch shaped eyes use those all the time. Yeah. <laughs> yes. And you can, yeah, once you get them, you can use them anytime you want. I will not be showing anything that's retired because I don't want to tease you guys um, once, you know, like after Tuesday, right? If I show you something that's retired and you fall in love with it, you can't order it and then you're mad at me and I don't want anybody mad at me. So I will only show current product on here on Facebook Lives um, just because I want to make sure you guys can get it if you want to get it. So next swap card, this one is featuring the new Pansy suite of products and I love so this is from Sharon Greening and she actually Sharon I think you're on here right now too I love so the dies actually cut out the designer series paper so she cut those beautiful pansies because at first I was like oh my gosh look at how did she even color those that is just gorgeous but she didn't she actually just die cut them straight away out of the designer series paper the leaves as well can be cut right out of I'm trying to do it backwards. Those leaves can be cut right out of the designer series paper. And then I love this too, how she kind of flipped it back. So you can see both sides of the paper. There's Sharon popping on there again. So yeah, isn't that beautiful? So that was another card. Um, so yeah, lots of great creations. And actually this current month in May coming up, we're gonna be doing a, what we call a shoebox swap at our um, team meeting because um, I'm going to be gone for a couple like well not a full two weeks but 10 11 days um, and so I'm kind of trying to compact what all I'm doing into like the time that we are here and so part of it was still being able to have my team meeting which was technically like while we're gone in Maui so I bumped it up a week and then that kind of puts pressure on like trying to get everything done super fast before we go so I decided we're doing a shoebox swap which is awesome because basically that means that everybody is going to create a card so for example maybe Sharon could have created this card using um, a bunch of the new um, new annual catalog product and she would design this card and then she's going to bring all the parts and pieces and she would even do the die cutting in this case um, if they're stamping we don't do that we do our own stamping and then die cutting around that on our own um, but basically everybody designs a card brings all the parts and pieces so that everybody at the meeting can make the cards and we kind of like just hop around and make a bunch of cards together so i'm super excited about that that is on was it tuesday i think may 11th does that sound right um four seven yep four plus seven eleven yep <laughs> sorry i'm like this math mind all the time too but yeah and i am freezing i want to like just rub my hands together um yeah the sun made me think it was a lot warmer outside than it is and it's <laughs> i don't think it's very warm at all outside right now but so yeah so excited about the shoe box swap with my inkspired stampers coming up so i'll have lots of other fun new product to share or projects too to share with you guys on facebook lives in may um i do have to figure out my schedule though too because we're gone for a little bit in May um, so I've got some fun ideas of things I'm going to be doing um, <clears throat> like fun incentive ordering incentive kind of stuff from the new annual catalog while we're gone in Maui um, I cannot even believe it's two weeks from tomorrow we get to go to Maui you guys oh my gosh so we were supposed to go last July and then obviously with the pandemic and everything that happened that trip was canceled um, so they've wrapped kind of like two years worth of trips into one big trip. Um, what is Philomena? No sun here. Oh, you're getting some snow. I'm so sorry, Philomena. Yeah, you guys are probably, we had kind of like um, rainy, dreary weather a little bit um, yesterday, I think, earlier in the day. Because last night ended up like looking nicer than I thought it was going to be. But sun is coming your way, I promise, because it's here now, so it'll be coming to you soon, Miss Philomena, and that will melt away whatever happens um, in terms of snow for you, right? So, yeah, okay, so yeah, I was talking about, so Maui, two weeks from tomorrow, we are heading to Maui. Uh, my son, Cade, and my daughter, Lily, and I, the three of us are all going to go on this trip. Oh, that was the other thing I was saying. So they basically took two years worth of trips and kind of put it into like one mega, they're calling it the Maui Elite trip, if you earned like la like two years ago and last year's trip. So anyway, we have like this extended stay in Maui. So super excited about that. I actually was able to get a car reserved for rental for a couple of days that were there. I just did like two 24 hour periods because the resort is beautiful. So we're going to be able to hang out and have fun and stamping up his plans, some excursions for us. Um, and then a couple of the other days I thought, let's, we got to get out and like explore the island of Maui too. So um, very, very excited and thrilled actually. Here comes Lily. She'll tell you how thrilled 
she is too. Will you at least wave? Will you say sure. hi? Hi, there she is. <laughs> All right, heading back to school, I think. Um, okay, have a good afternoon at school, Lil. Love you. Yes, Maui is beautiful, Philomena. If you have any suggestions, I have been doing some research. So we have this car that we've rented. <laughs> you thought you were coming too, Lori. Yes, I know. I wish I could bring everybody. I wish. So you guys all, if you haven't gotten the starter kit yet, which speaking of that, this perfect like segue, right? <laughs> Lori, I'll tell you to Lily, you said hi. Uh, she actually, the door just slammed. So I'll tell her you said hi when she gets back. Um, but yeah, I was just starting to say, you guys all need to get the starter kit. You guys all need to work super hard so that you can earn the incentive trips too, and then we can all go on these trips together. How awesome would that be to have all these fun friends, people that I know from Facebook Lives and just from stamping and you know hanging out and playing together. And it's actually, it's not as hard as you think it would be, to be honest. Um, you do have to hold events and have sales and, um, you know, have a team potentially. I mean, you can kind of do it a couple of different ways. You could just sell like crazy and you could earn your way to Maui or wherever the next incentive trip is. Or if you just love sharing um, with other people, find a bunch of people that want to get the starter kit through you, build a team, and you can earn basically based on um, activity within your team and their promotions and things too. So if anybody's ever interested in understanding more about that, um, you know, about how you could potentially earn a trip, um, through Stampin' Up. They are amazing. I will tell you honestly, hey Tracy, hello, welcome and from Maine. Thank you for sharing too. Yeah, Stampin' Up just does like a world-class job with these trips. I've never been so spoiled in my life on any trip before and they do it consistently every single year. So just super excited about this trip coming up. Cannot wait to share the time with my kids too. It's funny, I posted a picture of my kids helping me do a bunch of die cutting. I'm trying to get my to-go kits together and they are always, you know, I won't say they love every single time I ask them, but you know, for the most part, they're really good sports about helping me, um, you know, prep for classes and to-go kits and, um, you know, making cute treats for people. I always have lots of die cutting that needs to be done. And they're both really good troopers, basically, about helping me. Cade, he's a lot slower. <laughs> Lily can just like crank stuff out, Cade. Um, I think, you know, it's that typical, um, if I don't, work super hard or I don't do a really good job, maybe she won't keep asking me to do it, which is never going to happen. I'm just going to make him, one time he screwed a bunch of stuff up and I made him like redo everything actually. So he should know that that's just never going to happen. That, you know, typical guy, right? Like if I do a really bad job at it, maybe she won't want me to do it anymore. Like <laughs> that's never going to happen. But anyway, yeah, for the most part, they're very, very good helpers. And so I always tell him, yeah, you're earning your way to the next trip with whatever you're helping me on. So, um, yeah, okay, oh yeah, so that's what I was gonna start to tell you guys about. We have a new starter kit deal starting with the new annual catalog on Tuesday, May 4th, and this is awesome. There's no like um, specific, you get this, you get that. It's basically, you get to pick $155 in product. So I'm sure we all have huge wish lists, right, from the new annual catalog, or we will, um, if you haven't had a chance to look at your annual catalog yet, but you get to pick anything you want. Pick $155 in product and you pay only $99 plus sales tax. The shipping fee is always way, which is another 10%. So that's another, on a $155 order, that's $15.50 right there in 10 percent shipping that is um, free basically so essentially if you figure $155 plus tax and shipping and you only pay in Michigan with our six percent sales tax it's a 104.94 you're probably getting um, I'm gonna say about $80 for free, $80, $85 for free, and my quick math in my head, I should probably go, if I had my calculator, I would do it. But anyway, it's a huge, amazing deal. So starter kit, pick whatever you want, $155 in product, pay only $99 plus sales tax, no shipping fee, and then you also get a 20% discount on everything you order after that. So it's like this huge no-brainer, especially right now with our new annual catalog. And then, like I said, then start like, 
holding classes, selling to friends and family, um, building your team, and we can go on the next trip together. Wouldn't that be amazing? I would love for any of you guys to be on the trip with me. That'd be so fun. So yeah, as one, one friend commented after I posted that picture, she said, I want to be one of your kids too. <laughs> yes, and Paper Pumpkin also, Susie. That's right. You can, if you find Paper Pumpkin subscribers, all of those things help build your sales too. So yes. So if anybody has any questions, I will include the link to the starter kit in the details. I always say like above this Facebook live video after I get it uploaded um, to Facebook after we're done today. Okay. So in addition, I will also include links for the designer series paper share and the in color club, which I'm going to give you just a little bit um, of info on those. So I have my little flyer here, my 2021 annual catalog paper share. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven 10, 11 packs of designer series paper in our new annual catalog. I am so wishing that I could open up that catalog and show you guys. Um, I should have brought over. Well, I have the pansy stuff. I'll be able to show you that in a minute. Anyway, the, the paper is gorgeous and it's always like the perfect way to just get a little sample. You get a quarter of a pack of, a, what did I say? I think I said 11 different packs of paper in our annual catalog. You get a quarter of a pack of each of those. It's either a six by 12, so six by 12, six by 12, or like a six by six piece if it comes in six by six designer series paper. So you get a quarter of a pack of every single package of paper uh, designer series paper in the annual catalog. It is just $42 to get a sample of all of our new designer series paper. Um, I think maybe in some communications I miscommunicated that I was going to include the um, Brights, Regal, Subtles, and Neutrals. I decided I'm not going to do that. Plus for $42, like I literally couldn't do that. Um, like I would lose my back, my shirt off my back <laughs> if I did that. But so yeah, 11 packs of paper, $42, a quarter of a pack of each of those papers. I will include the link for the sign up for the designer series paper. Share in again in the details to this YouTube Facebook live video um, after we get it posted. So let me know if you have any questions. And then next time I do Facebook live, I'll actually be able to show you in the catalog all of the beautiful designer series paper. But it's just like the perfect way to get that little sample, check it all out, see what you love, what you want to order like a full package of. It's just a great way to get your hands on everything. Plus, I love doing the paper shares too, because then I can see everything also and be able to decide, you know, what I'm going to play with first and what I can't wait to order and that sort of thing. So it's just a great way to see it all without having to buy everything all at once. Okay. And then we also have the In Color Club. Oh my goodness. So, and I guess I should say with both of these, so Designer Series Paper Share and In Color Club, I will be putting my first order in when I can order, just like everybody else, on Tuesday, May 4th. So if you're interested, um, RSVPs say for the Paper Share, I'm going to keep that going all month long in May. So the final RSVP, like the final order, will go in on Tuesday, May 25th. But every time I get four people that want to order, I'll put an order in. So you don't have to wait either um, so you know for every group of four that I have uh, for next Tuesday I'll get those orders in right away as soon as I get them I'll ship them out to you it's really it's really simple for me to just cut that pack it up um, priority mail is how I will ship it to you so it's an additional nine dollars shipping if you need it shipped to you if not you pick porch pickup and it'll be right outside on the porch to pick up um, as soon as it's ready Okay, so that's Designer Series Paper Share. Same idea, though, with the In Color Club. Look at all of our beautiful new In Colors. These are just gorgeous, and I think I know the names now. We have Evening Evergreen, Soft Succulent, Pale Papaya, Fresh Freesia, and Polished Pink. So aren't those beautiful? Love our new In Colors. So In Color Club, for example, one month, you would get all of our products in Polished Pink. So what are all of our products? Let me check my list here. So we have the full package of cardstock. We have the ink pad. We have the ink refill. We have the open weave ribbon. I'm gonna show you that in just a little bit. We, you get the stamp and write marker in the polished pink. You get both of the blends in polished pink and you get the ink color designer series paper in polished pink. Plus, you also one month are the host and get $20 in free products. So you pick whatever you want. Like one friend asked, can I order the host 
items out of the new annual catalog. For example, there's this huge pack of designer series paper in there. Yes, you can order that package of designer series paper. The one thing I will tell you is it's 12 by 12 paper, so I have to ship it a little bit differently. So that month that you're the host, it, the shipping might be a little bit more just because it won't fit in the normal package that I would ship it to you. So not a big deal, but just want you to know that. Um, but yeah, you can order anything you want, anything, anything, anything out of the annual catalog or um, either the mini catalogs, depending on when you're the host, right? $20 in free product, plus you get the new in color jewels the month you're the host too. So it's $48 per month. There's no upcharge on this either. Basically I take the product value plus the tax and the shipping and that comes to $48 for the month so each month for five months so we'll start we have may june july august and september so you'll have everything in all five ink colors by september that then you can play with everything in all of our new ink colors plus it's kind of a great way to budget right 48 dollars per month gets you everything in one of each of the colors so you don't have to spend basically like 250 dollars all in one month to get everything all at once right you can kind of spread it out um, so yeah, let me know if you have any questions, but I mean, seriously, you're going to want everything in all of our new in colors. I just, I'm like super duper duper excited about all of these beautiful, they're like Easter, spring, summery Easter colors. Um, and even like this one's going to be great at Christmas time. I'm sure this evening evergreen, we're going to um, have lots of fun with that. And even the soft succulent is going to be a good, like kind of fall winter one. These other three for me definitely speak more spring, summer, but I'm sure they're going to incorporate these in a way that I would not think of either um, into our designer series paper and so on, even in the fall and the winter too. So great, great new in colors. Let me know if you want to get signed up for that. Um, again, it's another $9 priority mail shipping if you um, need it shipped to you, okay? The link to sign up for In Color Club will be above this Facebook Live video again after we are done with our video today. Okay, I have done a lot of talking, so now I think, um, yeah, Nikki, usually you like one or two in colors. I know, I know, and this year you like them all. So I kind of fall into that too. Either that or they just don't strike me right away, but these struck me right away as like being all just beautiful. They're really great. I mean, a lot of times they're they're all really good together. For whatever reason, this time, I think they're even better together than they are like in previous times. So, all right, let's do our first drawing. Where is my, let me find this thing right here. Okay. Here, we gotta scoot some stuff out of the way already. Okay, so first drawing, we are drawing for the resin heart embellishments. Um, I think these are retiring not until the end of June though, so you still have some time because these are in the mini catalog, the January to June mini catalog, but you can see there are some cute little white hearts and some kind of real red hearts, just a super cute, fun little pack of hearts there. Ooh, the sun went behind a cloud. It feels a lot darker in here now. So your name is in the basket. If you shared the Facebook Live video, right, always do your shares. I so appreciate your sharing. And then if you are new to me and just signed up for my email list, you get a free tutorial valued at $15 and your name is also in here the first time you sign up for my email list. Okay, so here we go. We have one lucky, ooh, there are a bunch of them all stuck together. Let me get those, get those all separated out. Okay, one lucky winner is Miss Vina Gomez. Congratulations, Vina, on winning those resin heart embellishments. So Vina, I will get these heart embellishments shipped out to you. So thank you for your shares too. She's a good sharer. I love that. Love the shares. Okay, so let's see. Next Facebook Live, we are going to give away, and this is actually, um, I think it's sold out already. I can't remember for sure, but I feel like it is. Um, but this is the purple tricolor ribbon i'm trying to get there though it's not in the glare so i think it's purple posy probably highland heather and gorgeous grape it's like a tricolor three different colors of purple i love this ribbon i had used it so very much it's retiring and like i said I, it might be sold out i can't remember for sure if if it's not it's probably on sale so you probably ought to get a, another bolt of it yourself too because i love that purple tricolor ribbon. So this is what we'll give away on our next Facebook Live for sharing the Facebook Live video. So this one right here, share as many times as you would like. That's how many times your name goes in the drawing. And um, sign up for my email list if you haven't signed up for that already, okay? Um, 
Let's do our other, yeah, I was supposed to talk about starter kit. Apparently I got too excited and talked about that already. Okay, so that's good. So we can talk about our next drawing now. How about that, right? Okay, I got that rare, I've got that there. Yeah, so um, what do I wanna show you guys? I'm like totally blanking out. Okay, yeah, we're gonna talk about our next drawing. Okay, wheels are turning, wheels are turning. <laughs> okay, so yeah, here I am, now I'm on track. Okay, so if you put an online order in from our last Facebook Live video until this past Wednesday at midnight, you automatically, with your $30 order, make sure you use the host code, right? But you automatically receive both of these projects that I demonstrated on our last Facebook Live. This was the Facebook Live where I featured the Sand and Sea Designer Series paper, that beautiful, um, just kind of uh, springy to me, right? Beachy, springy, super excited about beachy time coming up with Maui and then this summer, cannot wait for some warmer weather. <laughs> Man, I don't know. In Michigan, we survived another winter. And it wasn't even that bad of a winter, but it just it seems like it's long, right? So super happy. Yeah, so beachy themed cards is what I feel like we have here. So um, if you ordered through me at least $30, you're going to get both of these cards as a thank you from me. Your name is also in the drawing to win the Whale of a Time Designer Series paper that is already retired um, and I believe sold out also. So you cannot get this other than like right here through me on Facebook Live right now. Plus, if you bumped your order up to $50 during April, you got to pick from either the April Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial or the Pastel Pearls. Um, either one of those free with a $50 order. Now this month, you will be able to pick from the May Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial. And I don't even have, I guess I don't even know if I've decided yet for sure. We're gonna do another free embellishment. I haven't been able to order much of anything. Um, so yeah, I'll have to decide. We'll get another free embellishment out of the new annual catalog. I'll get those ordered on May 4th when I can get my next, um, my full, my big order in, right? Um, so I'll be sharing that with you guys. So $50 order, you can either pick the May Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial or my next um, free embellishment, which is yet to be determined, but will be very, very shortly, right? Okay, so names are in the drawing for the whale of a time designer series paper okay so we're gonna shake these around and we will pick one lucky winner and let's see we've got one name in here and it goes to huh, miss mary ann evans justin so congratulations mary ann you are the winner of the whale of a time designer series paper so mary ann i will get that paper to you so congratulations all right Let's see, we got that, we got that, okay. Just checking to see what else we had, yeah. Oh, well I should show you, so this was, um, I think I showed you guys this already, but I just love, it's that, my, my most favorite stamp set. This was the project that I demonstrated um, in our April Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial, right? So, because I love those pretty perennials, the stamps so much, right? See, I created more of my own designer series paper right there. Love, love, love that cute stamp set. Okay, I think we are good with all of this. Let me check my notes because I feel like we might be ready to flip. Oh no, let me tell you guys, actually, one more. I gotta, rem I gotta remember that, right? So next Facebook Live, the giveaway is going to be, I have a full package of our new in-color cardstock. So you can kind of see it. You get, I think four, is it four different sheets? Yeah, four sheets of all of our new in-color cardstock. So right here. You can get a, you get a full package of our in color cardstock as a thank you and congratulations for your ordering through me. Okay, so that's what we will give away on our next Facebook Live for ordering using the host code that I'm going to give you in just a sec. Flip that camera down and I'll show you that too. Okay, all right, I'm trying to get organized here, ladies. Okay, I think we're good. All right, need to move this stuff out of the way. All right, so we're going to flip the camera down. I have to move all my scribbly notes out of the way because you guys don't need to see those because that would be embarrassing. Where is the my host code stuff? Where did that go? Did I not bring it over here? Hmm. Oh, no. I think it's right here. Okay, good. Yeah. Okay. All right. Back. <laughs> 
Okay. Flip your heads, or no, turn your heads away while I flip the camera down and we will, I've got one more thing to show you guys and then we will do our stamping. Okay. All right, let's see. We're good to go here, right? Okay. Let's see. Kind of adjust things just a little bit. Okay, so here's our new host code. The Y9REYP3Z. So that's the code you want to use when you order online to get your retired product through Monday at midnight or to order out of the new catalog starting on Tuesday morning. Make sure you use that host code and your name will go in the drawing to win that new in color cardstock. Okay. Also, okay, so featuring you guys, oh my gosh, okay, what do I want to show you first? The ribbon? I don't know. Okay. I have to show you guys my next class to go because I am so in love with it. I'm just gonna show you that ribbon first of all. So this is the new in color ribbon. I don't have the pale papaya because I gave that away at uh, Bingo a couple of weeks ago. We could only order one bolt of each of the new ribbons, but you can see fresh freesia, uh, polished pink, soft succulent, and evening evergreen. Isn't that beautiful? So. Love those ribbons, right? And so this is actually in my next class to go. You get one yard of each of those ribbons with the class to go because we're gonna use them on our projects. So let me show you guys the projects featuring, actually, no, hold on. I'm gonna show you the stamp set and dies. We are gonna use the new Pansy Patch Bundle. So this Pansy Patch stamp set and the Pansy dies so let me show you the sentiments. Uh, the little things you do make such a big difference. And this is like perfect. Um, I don't know, there's something about like the cursive and then the capitals and everything is just, it's like so cute, isn't it? I don't know how else to say it, but it's like a super cute font. And then this, right, the love you much, wishing you a little extra happiness just because you're you. There's a thank you, a happy birthday, and a little hello from me to you. So kind of some good standard sentiments there and then a couple of other fun additional sentiments too. And then, oh, you got your pansies bundle. Awesome. I know this is a gorgeous. I had so much fun playing with this stamp set because then you can see all of the pansy imagery that you can kind of build and create, kind of layering things here. Lots of detail with the stamps. And then even the dies here too. I'll kind of flip that open so you can see that a little bit better. You can create beautiful pansy imagery just with the dies. You don't even need to do the stamping. The dies alone kind of build and create um, lots of beautiful imagery. The dies also will obviously cut out things that you stamp from the stamp set and again from the designer series paper. You can cut using these um, dies as well. So awesome bundle of products. Let me show you the um, designer series paper too because you're gonna get a quarter of a pack. And I don't even have, this is, I used almost all of this particular piece in um, some swaps that I was creating. But here are the rest of the patterns of paper. Okay, so that's front or one side of each of the pansy. What is this called? Now I gotta check my notes. The Pansy Petals Designer Series Paper as opposed to the Pansy Patch Stamp Set and the dies. Okay, so there's one side. So you can see, and this is the one that the dies will cut out all of this pansy imagery. And then the dies will also cut out all of the leaves there too. So, oh my gosh, it's just, there's, and it's all of our new in colors too, right? Okay, so let me just show you guys that so you can really appreciate that too, right? So here are all of our new in colors. So can you see how they match perfectly? Beauty of stamping up right here at work at its best, ladies. All of our new ink colors featured in our designer series paper. So makes creating projects super easy, right? With then again, our ribbon too. See how beautiful all of our ribbon is and how it coordinates so perfectly with our cardstock and our designer series paper. Oh my gosh, I'm just so very excited about this. Yeah, the pansies, this whole suite is gorgeous, ladies. You are going to love it. Okay, so there's one side, right? Okay, so I'm gonna kind of flip over and you can see, so, and then the gingham, look at this on the other side and then there's that one little piece. <laughs> so that's the back side of that designer series paper. So three different gingham patterns and then some other, <laughs> it is spectacular, isn't it? Yes, it is, Darlene. Yes, and Susan, you're right. It's an awesome, awesome suite. So that's why I was just so excited 
to be able to make the next class to go featuring all of these products too. Okay, so let me tell you, I'll kind of like leave things out here too because I'm like, just can't, I can't put it away. I'm so excited about all of this stuff, right? Okay, so I'm gonna tell you about the options, the different options that we have available. Try not to make a huge mess, but apparently that is impossible for me. Okay, so let me show you, actually, let me show you the cards now, okay? So these are the cards that I created with this suite of products. Two, you're gonna make two of each of these also. So I'll give you all of the step-by-step -step instructions on how to make two of this. And if you wanna change the sentiment, go for it. You could do a thank you, a birthday. These are not, you're not locked in. Basically, you've got your card design and use whatever sentiment you want. You can put something on the inside too. So we got the love you much. We got this one with the happy birthday. See all the detail you can create with those um, pansy dies. Then here's another one with some stamping and some die cutting. And I used a bunch of the new ribbon. There's a thank you on that one. And and then this is the little a little hello from me to you and again i cut straight out of the designer series paper there too and just so um just so sweet this is such a sweet suite of products i think okay so those are your four projects two of each of them is what you can make in the class to go okay so option number one you get the pansy patch stamp set the pansy dies you get one yard of each of our in color ribbons including that uh, pale papaya that I don't have. So you're going to get five different in colors, one yard of each to use on your projects. You're going to get a quarter of a pack of the designer series paper, which is a six by 12. So one of these sheets cut in half, six by 12 piece of each of these. Again, you'll use it on your projects. In option number one, the ribbon is actually free. You get the one yard each of this ribbon free in option number one. You also get the PDF tutorial. Oh, and then the jewels. I almost forgot about the in color jewels. We used a bunch of these. So if I come in close, can you guys see? So we've got some smaller and some larger in each of our five in colors. So you get the jewels in your class to go as well. So option number one, Mac Daddy, it's $83, but you get so much product and so many great ideas. And then there are a million ideas or will be out on Pinterest or wherever. So you'll have lots and lots of ideas is that you can create even more projects with, okay? Option number two is if you already have the bundle, you already have the pansy patch stamp set and the dies, so you're gonna get a quarter of a pack of the ribbon, you get one yard of each of the in color, I'm sorry, a quarter of a pack of the designer series paper, one yard of each of the new ribbons, and then a full package of our in color jewels, plus the PDF tutorial. So option number two is $27. Option number one and option number two ship to you for priority mail. It's an additional $9 shipping if you need it shipped to you. Okay, uh, option number three is if you just want the PDF tutorial, you just wanna know how I put all of these projects together, I'm gonna give you colors, dimensions, item codes, everything that you need to create these on your own. That is $15. If you are a current Inkspired Stamper, one of my team members, a current team member, you can get the PDF tutorial for free every single month. And then as well, option number four is also for my Inkspired Stampers. Um, you get the parts and pieces to do the make and takes for cost. It's just $12 to get the make and takes if you're a current inspired stamper. So lots of great benefits for buying the starter kit through me. You could buy the starter kit on Monday, pick your $155 in product. You can even get this bundle in your starter kit, get some other stuff, say go with option number two, that gives you everything else that you need to um, create these beautiful projects all on your own um, using this tutorial as well. Okay, um, let's see, what else? Um, RSVPs are due by Friday, May 21, and the ship kits will ship out no later than June 2nd. Okay, and then in addition, I just wanna show you ink pad colors. So these are the four colors I use, the Fresh Freesia, again, some of our new um, in colors, Evening Evergreen, Polished Pink, and Bumblebee. And if you need any of these ink pad colors, we can add those right on to your to-go kit order too. I'll um, let you know what the price difference is, but we can get any of those if you need those in color, um, the new in colors, especially those ink pads, okay? So let me know if you have any questions, Susan, I'm seeing, oh, did you order the tutorial? I think I'd sent you maybe a, now I'm trying to remember. I got a few orders for the tutorial. So if I haven't sent it to you yet, I will do that right after Facebook Live, okay? so. Thank you guys so much. Let me know if anybody has any questions. These cards are beautiful. They are so much fun. I love pansies. I want to go buy some pansies and plant them outside. It's not quite time to be able to do that yet, though, I don't think. 
Um, they might not serve. Well, the pansies are a little more hearty, aren't they? So you never know. Okay. All right. We're scooting this stuff out of the way. Let's do some stamping now, ladies. Now that we've played with all that pretty um, floral stuff, now we're going to go with masculine cards. So they're not quite as um, fun florally, I guess I'll say. <laughs> okay. So let's see. I want to make sure... Good. Okay. I couldn't remember, Susan. Okay, good. I'm glad that you did get it already. I was thinking I'd sent it and then I was like, oh, I don't want to say that if I haven't already. So, okay. So, oh, let me show you. So these are also um, make and takes that we made at our meeting, um, at our Inkspired Stampers meeting this month. We focused on the um, this sweet, this kind of masculine, handsomely suited stamp set is what we used, and then the well-suited designer series paper. So this one I actually basically cased right from the um, mini catalog. I loved how they did. So they, if you can see, can you see? I don't know if you can see very well. But we used the, here, let me show you this, this stamp right there. This handsomely suited stamp, we used this guy right here, that stamp, and we just basically with a stitched rectangle piece. So if you um, die cut this, and then I just put a little bit of adhesive behind it, um, and then tacked it down on there, and then stamped kind of up and down, up and down, up and down with that tie, and then use some designer series paper, and then that have a happy Father's Day, handsome. And I'm seeing Sandra, how do we order the tutorial? Um, Sandra, I will um, send you a PayPal link and then that's all you need to do. So um, yeah, if anybody's interested, you can comment right here or if you email me and say, hey, will you um, send me a PayPal link so I can get that ordered? Um, I would be happy to do that for anybody. Okay, so thank you, Philomena. I'm glad. So simple card. It's like, um, I, there's just something about masculine cards, right? They just aren't quite as fun, I guess. I don't know, not, not as frilly. Um, but I tried my best to kind of add some detail to them too. So this one, we use the Dainty Diamonds embossing folder. Again, we use this happy birthday to you. And then there's the little bow tie right there. You're welcome, Sandra. And then some of the twine too. That's some of the um, twine that's in that suite. Plus some of those matte black dots those are carrying over too so that's kind of awesome right um and then here's another one happy father's day handsome with more of that designer series paper and then some of the um hmm, which one is that's one of the which one is that tasteful textile maybe embossing folder and then the last one that we made in our make and takes right another simple with that little tie one to one of the world's greatest dads this could be a father's day or i think it'd be it could be a good birthday card too so those were the projects that we made at our meeting uh last week or so week or week or two ago okay so these are the projects that we are going to um make let's see philomena saying yes you love them both oh that's good i'm glad to hear that okay so here's our first one because like i said i had this was like the paper this pattern in this well-suited designer series paper this is the one that caught my eye first and so i was just really dying to play with it so i thought this was a good um kind of use of that paper i just think it looks it's like a tie or maybe a man's maybe not a shirt maybe it's more of a tie Anyway, there's just something about, I think the colors, and even though it's florally, it's still a little bit masculine, right? And so I love this sentiment. The good things in life are better with you. <laughs> All right, good, Philomena, I'm glad you enjoyed those cards. Which that sentiment is from one of my all-time favorite stamp sets in our current annual catalog, and it's carrying over, woohoo, right? So the good things in life are better with you. We've got a you are the best, just saying hello, and you are so special. And then some great imagery in there. I'm trying to think if I did, I did stamp. Yeah, I put the feathers on the inside. I was thinking that I did that too. So let me show you how we made this one. Oh, and I used some of this ribbon, which I made notes of all the things that are retiring. So this is part of um, one of those combo packs, and I'm totally drawing a blank now, but it's Knight of Navy. Um, I have it. I will give you the, <laughs> the name of it because I think it has like the little, um, if I can find, is it going to be this one? <laughs> no, no, I really can't. No, it's not. No, it's the playing with patterns because it's with the, the pale purple with the, um, purple posy ribbon also. Yeah. So there's purple posy, there's this blue, and then I think there's another, mm, 
maybe Coastal Cabana ribbon. So it's a three ribbon combo pack, but we use that ribbon right there. So it's returned. I will give you, since I'm having a really hard time remembering the name of it, but I think it's Playing With Patterns just, um, ribbon combo pack. I will give you the names of everything and the item codes of everything that we used on these cards on my blog. So at Gathering Ink with a K, gatheringinspiration.com. That'll be uploaded this afternoon after we're done with this Facebook Live video, okay? So not to worry, I will I will make sure I tell you everything since I am blanking out at the moment, apparently. Okay, so here we go. We start with, this is Knight of Navy, so our card base, Knight of Navy, right? So here's our full sheet of cardstock. Along the 11 inch side, we cut it in half at five and a half inches. And then along the eight and a half inch side, we scored it at four and a quarter inches, always. Oh, I always have to score my cards because I'm just not very good at doing it on my own. <laughs> so then on the inside, we have our Whisper White piece that measures four inches by five and a quarter inches. Okay. And then this is Misty Moonlight cardstock, three and one quarter by four. And then our Well Suited Designer Series paper, this is three by three and three quarters. That's going to just layer in there, right? And then this is just a scrap of basic white cardstock. And then same idea, Misty Moonlight cardstock here that measures two inches by four and a quarter. So then this one measures one and three quarter by four inch, okay? Yes, okay, good. I thought playing with patterns, Jenny. Yeah, thank you, I'm glad. <laughs> thank you for verifying that for me. Okay, so let's do our stamping because all we have is just this one simple stamp. So we're gonna ink up, Knight of Navy, nice, easy, tap, tap, tap. Do not press too hard because you don't need ink all over the place. You only need it on your stamp, and that was totally upside down, but now we are right side up, okay? Also, I want to stamp on my envelope. No, not my envelope, but the inside of my card. <laughs> okay, blanking out a moment here. Okay, so with the feathers, because I love these feathers, I think are cool too. So I grabbed that other little piece so I wouldn't make a mess on this grid paper. Okay, so that's gonna go on the inside of the card. Simple, simple, simple. We are going to use, actually I'm gonna clean these right now. Let's grab our chamois. Right, we'll just get these. Sorry, that was really loud as I flipped that over. Get those things cleaned off there. Okay, so I can get those put right back away. All right, so we have our die cutting and embossing machine. This would be another if you guys have been holding out and haven't gotten this die cutting machine yet. You could get it in your starter kit, right? And then you'd have the new stamp and cut and emboss machine. Love these label dies, tasteful label dies, not retiring, use them all the time. You guys know, I think I use them pretty much every week or every other week on Facebook Live. So we're gonna use this big label die right here. I'm a sucker for the labels, right? Can't have enough, ooh. These are the old, I think I have my brand new cutting plates that I'm supposed to pull out for Facebook Live so I look really like on top of things and apparently, <laughs> no, these are the ones that kids were using to do all their die cutting on. Clearly, they are very well loved dies. <laughs> clearly, clearly, okay. Let's get this one out of the way, all right. So this could be a great um, Father's Day card even, a great birthday card. I think that sentiment, the good things in life are better with you, you can put that on the outside and then on the inside, right, on this piece right here, you could stamp a happy birthday, a happy Father's Day. You could just write on the inside of either of those. So I think it's kind of a really great, ooh, how about that? Do you like that? That paper is kind of cool too, right? The back of that. I haven't really used that pattern very much either, but it's kind of catching my eye now. Okay. So here we go. We're going to add some adhesive on this one. And I love this layout, too. I'm finding that I'm going back a lot and looking at previous layouts of cars and anything that catches my eye. I'm like, oh, okay, well, let's adapt that, you know, to what we have right now in terms of current product. That's been lots of fun. Great way to come up with ideas, kind of look at cards in your card stash and anything that you like that catches your eye, just use that layout also, right? It looks totally different too when you do that with new products. Um, instead of coming up with 
new layouts all the time, right? Okay, so now I want to just grab my Playing With Patterns ribbon. Yes, thank you, Jenny, for verifying that. Okay, so I just cut a couple of strips and tacked it around the back, okay? So we've got one and then we've got two, okay? So that's all we need for that. So we're just gonna kind of, I did it down toward the bottom of it a little bit. Okay, so I'm gonna just run that all along there so I've got it ready to go for my next one too. So just kind of tack it right there, run it, make sure it looks straight. I think I did that the other day and it wasn't straight. So I had to kind of lift it up and redo. Actually, I'm gonna go, hmm. Yeah, I have room both ways, don't I? Okay, I want just a little bit of space between those. Isn't that so pretty? That navy ribbon. Get that ribbon, ladies, before it goes. The purple posy ribbon on there is so pretty, too. There's one more. Maybe it's white. No, 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 no. I already figured that out, didn't I? It wasn't the white. It's um, Coastal Cabana because it's like a pretty kind of sea blue. Okay, so we're going to use dimensionals. Actually, let's put one more. I like to do one right in the middle there so it doesn't cave in. Okay. Flicking those things out of the way, right? Okay, so this is just gonna lay right on there. Yeah, so you see what I mean by good layout? You could use this. You could totally turn this into like a female, you know, more, yeah, not a masculine card, but a more female card with, or more feminine card, I guess I should say, right? With a different designer series paper. Okay, now I'm also gonna pop this little guy up on some dimensionals. And this is what I was laughing about too, right guys? Like I love to use my bling on my projects and I had to, even though they're they're blingy, right? I think they're kind of masculine blingy with those super dark, like Knight of Navy. I just had to add a couple. I always, there's something about, right? The bling, just add a little bit of sparkle, a little something extra right? The good things in life are better with you. And then happy birthday, happy Father's Day, whatever you need on the inside of that one, right? Okay, so that is card number one. All right, let me scoot this stuff out of the way so I don't get confused thinking I'm going to use these things again on my next project. We are like all over the place too, aren't we? Okay, I think we're all right though. Doo -doo -doo -doo. And I have my little list of What's retiring? Oh, well, I guess I should tell you. Here, I'll show you on this one. Ooh, the diamonds embossing folder is retiring. I think I said earlier that it wasn't, but it looks like it is, because Lily and I, um, a week or two ago, went through and kind of put prices on everything that is going to be retiring. So I'll show you that. That's what caught my eye. Um, okay, but this is our next. <laughs> Sorry, I'm like all over the place, ladies. So this is our next card. And I saw the idea of this on Pinterest, and I forgot to write down the name of the person, but I loved her use of these circles. So I used my circle punch that is retiring. And basically, it's a great way to feature a bunch of designer series paper. So you got five different patterns in the well-suited designer series paper. Now this paper, the one that I showed you at the beginning of Facebook Live, it's in our January to June mini catalog and it will be retiring, but not till the end of June. So you've got some time, but I always say, you know, especially because it's kind of coming up on like when we want to start thinking about Father's Day, um, this paper could sell out sooner than later. So just keep that in mind. If you like it, get it while you can. I think it's a great masculine paper, honestly. Okay, so. Yeah, and this is what I was talking about that Lily and I went through and priced. So Dainty Diamonds Embossing Folder, we did use that on our project. You can see right there. I was thinking it was carrying over, but it's not. It's retiring. Um, and this one actually is in our annual catalog, so only a couple more days to get this if you need the Dainty Diamonds Embossing Folder. Okay. That, there's like dimensionals on my thing, and they're driving me crazy. Also, two-inch circle punch is what I used. It's $18 and it is retiring. So if you don't have that, grab that while you can. I, I think it's still available. I haven't checked in a moment, so I can't say for sure, for sure. Uh, but I'm thinking about that. Okay, so let me give you dimensions again. This time we started with, this is a Pacific Point piece of cardstock, again, along the 11 inch side, cut it five and a half, along the eight and a half inch side, score it at four and a quarter inches, okay? 
for our fold on our card, right? Then we have a piece of, this is basic gray cardstock, four by five and a quarter. That's like the standard, right? When you just want a little bit of an edge showing. Um, and on the inside, same idea, a little bit of an edge, another four by five and a quarter on the inside of that one, right? So this is the piece we're gonna emboss. And then I have a little piece of Whisper White cardstock. This one measures one and one quarter by two and a half, and that's gonna be our happy birthday to you right there, okay? So let's do our stamping since we have those things right here. And then we can do our embossing and our punching. Okay, I wanna make sure I get this one. So again, nice, easy tap, tap, tap. We're gonna just stamp this right in the middle of here. Stay it down, lift straight up. Okay, so that one looks good. I'm gonna scoot that over here so I don't lose things. Okay, so now we have, this is the, you are the best. So don't press too hard on that one. Okay, that looks good. And then the cute little bow tie, we're gonna add him down below, okay? So again, you see how I don't press too hard, especially on this one, cause you could get ink all over the place. Ah, hey Becky, how are you? I'm glad for you to join us whenever you can make it. I know people's schedules are all over the place sometimes, so. Okay, uh, let's clean those again, right? You guys have a chamois, don't you? This is carrying over. I know that was asked a couple of weeks ago, but yeah, if you don't have your chamois, grab one of these. Love these things, it's just the easiest way. Look, everything's clean now. Done, 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 done. Love that. Okay, and Becky, thank you for sharing the video. Okay, what am I doing now? Let's get our punch too, we might as well do our punching. So you guys can see all of the designer series paper again. So I must have used that side because I'm like, I don't see that one on the card. Okay, then we have this one. Again, I used the back side of that one there. Okay. Um, this one we use the plaid. Now this one I think is a little bit, I have these little strips left, so it's gonna be okay. Um, I've got that little bit on the bottom, but we're gonna cover that up so you won't even see that. I'll just kind of tuck it in. And same thing with this one. It's not quite wide enough, but that's all right. We're just gonna tuck it in there too. And then last, we've got this guy right here. There we go. So that's kind of a great way to see, right? Those are all the sides that we are gonna use, but here are the other sides that we're not using this time. But you could do something fun with those as well, right? Okay, so let's do our embossing with our Dainty Diamonds embossing folder. Right there. Again, retiring this embossing folder is, so get it while you can, ladies. This one. Okay, this is the embossing folder, Dainty Diamonds. Okay, it's really good for these masculine cards too, I'd say, right? Okay, so we're gonna just get this. Sorry, that is wiggling all over the place. Something must be a little bit loose. There, okay. Just scoot this out of the way. Ooh, man, I was super chatty today, wasn't I? We're going a little bit longer. That's okay though, right? Hopefully you guys are all hanging in there with me. Okay, so there's that, right? Check out, can you see the diamonds on there, right? Okay, so let's add, we're gonna add our circles because then we've gotta put our twine. Two, three, we're gonna wrap some of our twine behind and my adhesive is right here, okay? So I'm just gonna put a good amount of adhesive on all of these, okay? All right, we are gonna start with which one? I want that, nope. <laughs> okay, it must be this one right here. I wanna start with this one up in the, you guys kind of see what we're doing there? Okay, so I'm gonna put that one there. I'm gonna put that one right there, and it doesn't have to be perfect, right? Good morning, Diana. We're gonna put that one right there, and then I'm gonna cover up that little bit and then let's see if we go this one right there. And then again, I wanna cover up that little thing. That one can go there. Okay, so we're gonna press firmly on all of that, right? So this paper will retire on June 30th, well suited or sooner if it sells out. 
as well. The well-suited twine combo pack comes in basic gray and knight of navy. This one will retire on June 30th or sooner if it sells out before then. Those matte black dots are carrying over though. Those are in our current January to June mini catalog and they will be available in our next annual catalog, which I'm happy about that. At first I was like, uh, black dots, what are we gonna do with those? But honestly, I used them a lot this spring, so I'm glad especially again with these masculine projects, right? I'm gonna make our bow there. Okay, I uh, need some scissors. Just kind of trim that off. Okay, so we're gonna just, I'll show you. This is my little trick. I kind of hold it in and then I can scoot it over. And then same thing here, right? We'll just kind of scoot it down a little bit, maybe right about there. Oh, it did come apart a little bit. That's interesting. There, okay. So that bow is good there. All right, we're gonna pop, actually let's just put this on our project now and we'll put some adhesive on this one too so we can put it on the inside. Okay, so we've got this adhesive right here and then we'll do this one for the inside of our card. Oop, and it's stuck to me as of course it would. Okay, so we've got that for the outside. You're the best goes on the inside. Okay, so again, a great masculine birthday card. We are going to pop this up on dimensionals that, where did they go? Right here, okay. I try to keep them in the same place <laughs> and I did not put them back where I normally keep them. So, okay, but I recovered quickly, which I'm happy about. Okay, that can go right about there. Then we just need our final little touch here, a couple of our black matte dots. You can see these, I've, they're pretty well loved at this point. I have some left, but not a ton. Okay, so we're gonna put one. And again, there's something about just adding a couple of little dots down in the corner of this sentiment that is kind of just finishes things off. So there we go, a happy birthday to you, right? Okay, so you guys know I love to do my quick recap just to make sure everybody knows what the deal is, what's going on here, right? So if you put an online order in of at least $30 through me using this host code, the Y9REYP3Z, you are going to get one of each of these projects that I just demonstrated on Facebook Live as a thank you from me. Your name also goes in the drawing to win this new 2021-23, can you guys see the in color cardstock pack? If you bump your order up to $50, you will get to pick from the May, this is April, but the May, once I can print that one, I'll have it for you next Facebook Live. You can pick the Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial or that one of our new embellishments that will be free with your $50 order from our new annual catalog. So thank you guys so much for joining me today. I know I've given you so much information. I will include links for everything, for ordering, for In Color Club, for Designer Series Paper Share, for the class to go. They'll all be right at the top above the Facebook Live video today. So thank you guys. Or let me know, email me if you need um, help with anything, a link for anything. Um, so yeah, hopefully you guys have a great Friday, a great weekend. Thank you, Philomena. I'm glad you enjoyed today. Thank you, Nikki. Thank you very much. I'm glad you enjoyed those cards. They're, you know, it's always like, they're not quite as fun and frilly, right? But we need the masculine cards too. There are men in our lives, right ladies? So, okay. Thanks for watching guys. Have a great weekend and we will see you on the next Facebook Live. Bye everybody.